Thank you. So agenda for the today, which we have discussed to introductions part, then what is the cloud computing? Then we will talk about SaaS, which is called software as a service, PaaS, platform as a service, and IS, which is called infrastructure as a service. Then we will talk about the deployment model. What is the public cloud? What is the private cloud? What is the hybrid cloud? And one bonus we can add, which lots of companies are using nowadays. Then we will talk about the OCI environment. That is the Oracle Cloud Interface. Live demo we can show you. Over there we are going to create the Oracle 18C database. And at last question and answer session. So introduction part already we have given you. You lots of people are aware about myself. So my name is Rajiv Jha and having two decade experience into the database technologies. I started journey as a software developer and then moved on to DBA, senior DBA, team lead, domain head, blah, blah. So all the things you can see on the screen that way. Work with the top 500 corporations. So that's lots of companies called IBM, maybe the Oracles or Capgemini or whatever the company name you can take. So of course, the, my current company is the my ninth company Okay, industry speaker. So I am the industry speaker. So people are calling me to speak on to the SQL user group, SQL Pass Summit, Oracle Open Day, and apart from that webinar, like you can see today. Then the, my personal life, those things. We have already talked about what is the cloud computing, why cloud computing. Then we have talked about the definitions of cloud computing. So this, session will be a level recording session we will share with all of you so you will get the details we have talked ever electricity example we have given you what is the electricity and we have linked it with the cloud computing so how we are getting the electricity available through the some devices and we are connecting with our house. So what was the greed that we have talked and those things, those all we have talked. And then we have talked about IT field, what is the cloud computing in general terms used to describe a new class of network based computing that take place over the internet. So there's a more than 20 slide I have for the cloud computing when we are going to the actual class, then we are going to discuss what said by the Microsoft, what said by the AWS, what said by the Oracle or different other companies. So that we have talked. Then we have talked about the cloud computing. Then we have talked about the, these companies. If you remember Amazon, Azure, Oracle Cloud and why we have put it into the name Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, then SAP, Salesforce, and Alibaba Cloud. Are you on the same page where the different companies logo is presented? Yes, sir. Good, thank you. So then we have talked about the complex decision to market. We have given you the input about the various cloud method. What is the Amazon Cloud? What, why it is the best? Why? I have put it into number one position to the Amazon. So those different things. Okay, then we have talked about the every cloud is not the same. One size doesn't fit to all. So make a smart selection on the cloud. Yeah, someone have the question. Okay. Guys, if you are not speaking, please mute yourself. I can see someone from login from the Moto G5. Yes. Okay. I have muted you. So if you need to speak, then feel free to unmute or prefer to use chat. Okay. 
no problem. So, evaluation in computing, we talked why the cloud is the more demand, what was the logic behind it, and how business owner is looking. They don't care what is going on, they want the best service. They don't know how you can give them. They, I don't know how to work. I just get the answer, I need it. That's the business nowadays. So then we have talked, what are the challenges on on-premises computing? Why the cloud is getting popular? What was the reasons? Those over there, we have talked about the hardware requirement, BMS, then the different resource, licensing terms, scale up and down, high upfront capex for the investment and then the responsibility. So these are the talk thing we talked. Here we got the challenge when we are talking and so let's continue with the, this point. So are you on the managing demand? Page. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for coming. So managing demand. When we are talking about the managing demand, so IT company is thinking either they are using the over capacity or under capacity. So as I given you the example, lots of companies, lots of people are coming and they are saying, hey, I need this service. But coming with a different licensing mechanism, different type of hardware configurations, and they are not aware what are the other challenges they have. So either we are using our capacity machine or under capacity. If our capacity, then good for the business. But if it is under capacity, then it will be a not a good option for us. Got it? So that way we have to think how it behave, how it change. So if you can see, either we are going to use the under capacity or we are going to use over capacity. So wastage capacity will be always if we are going to use the bigger server, not wastage only for the resource, wastage for the CPU, wastage for the power consumption, wastage for the licensing fee and other things. If you are going with the less than under capacity, so your performance will impact your other things. So there is no way or it was difficult to add the resource. Like I need a four more CPU, I cannot add into the my own setup, which is not into the cloud, which is into the our own infrastructure. Of course, you need to a break for that, you need a downtime for that, then the budgeting for that, approval for that, and then the business have to agree which day you have to replace it. So it's a cost. Potential business loss, of course, because there is a downtime. If the downtime is there, there's a loss of the business. So that's why potential business loss. Suppose you are working in the industry where such type, if you can see the diagram, are you able to see the diagram? Yes, we are able to see. Okay, so in this diagram, you can see what we are going to do. So we are using this, like sometimes it's a peak season. If you can see here, what, like we all are aware in the Amazon, big billion day or Flipkart uh, having the such type of things. What is big billion day? So that time demand is more, but what about others? Service is not, uh, in India we are using and we are facing the IRCTC website. If you can take the example. So if we are not using, like we are into this position, then it's okay. We can use the service into another way. But when we are into the different positions, then it will be a really a great problem for all of us. So always make it practice to use the service based on the need. So, oh, are you dealing with the such type of environment? where all of a sudden demand increased, where all of a sudden 
demand is not much any one of you so if you are working in such type of environment then believe me you need a cloud because it's really tough to go and use the things based on to the so that's why it agility how quickly can you give the scale up to your infrastructure to your business business don't care about the your requirement business need a service they want okay i am having the money i need a service as early as possible but is it possible in our infrastructure not at all is it possible on cloud yes very easily that's why cloud got popularity upgrade to the latest os we need a downtime for that we all are aware that if you need a upgrade we need a patching we need a downtime but cloud has given us the opportunity without downtime we can do the upgrade of course for that there is a different way of the doing that that we will talk during the actual class response to a company merger with the new requirement for business process and it capacity so suppose the company is going to take king or the another company so their infrastructure may be the different your infrastructure may be the different how we are going to interact how we are going to integrate that thing and response to a diverse so these are the it agility we have into the own infrastructure that's why the cloud service got popularity let me come to the cloud service point so in the cloud service if we are going to talk we can see the first service came into mind software as a service of course lots of place you can find that we are mentioning platform as a service as a first but why i have mentioned software as a service if you remember i have given you the example and the word for the lady elson everyone is saying oracle cloud is the late comer in the market and what lady says lady says Oracle Cloud is not a late comer. The naming we have adopted later. Earlier, if you are using the CRM, so that is a like a cloud service, where we are giving you the CRM based on the use you are using and you are paying. What a point! So that way you can do. Got it? And then the so here. we can talk the lots of things so they if you are using software as a service you don't have to care this will be taken care by the your service provider the another concept is called ias which is called infrastructure as a service before that there was one which is called platform as a service so here what are the things is your responsibility that you can see and we can talk it with the later slide as well so you are responsible your customer is responsible so here if you can see this is the your responsibility got a point and when we talk infrastructure as a service so these all application you have to manage framework you have to manage operating system you have to manage all the os services you have to manage only the virtualization and hardware will be managed by the your service provider maybe the amazon maybe the microsoft azure or maybe the oracle cloud whatever you are choosing so cloud service database as a service this is the my agenda that's why i have put it this as a first database as a service the another one is called software as a service you have seen platform as a service and infrastructure as a service so what is database as a service database as a service you have a two option one full database instance service like you want as a virtual image so what is the meaning of this virtual image this means 
you are going to use the things what am my point you are the responsible for the entire setup similar like the azure image or ami full distributions on you same similar like your own provider so if you are going as a virtual image the oracle will give you only the server on that server you need to install the database software you need to create the database you need to plan for the backup you need to restore what we are doing currently it is the same another one is called database cloud service so what is this here you will get a virtual machine plus database plus full provisioning so backup and restore automation will be there patch in and upgrade automation data guard setup monitoring and managing local management these all will be taken care by the your service provider of course if you are choosing oracle on amazon this will be not available if you are choosing oracle on to the microsoft azure this will be not possible and this is the infrastructure which we they are going to use oracle nx 6.4 and 7.2 they have just launched few days back so those things then another is called database schema service suppose we all aware the business need only particular things so what we are doing we are creating a schema based on the schema we are giving application user user id and password and they can connect why they need to take care of the entire thing here only you can get the schema like you are using the hr or a scott or maybe the you have used the sys or those thing so similar type of one schema you can get it is fully managed so who will manage it of course your service provider that means oracle will manage dedicated schema size you can choose in the like 5 gb 20 gb 50 gb and so on data access using java service oracle application express rest app so those way you can do it now if we understood the cloud models now we can talk about the some things how you are planning to do it i hope this is a slide which can give you the some idea the basic idea to going to make a pizza what are the thing you need you can respond whatever you need so it may be the different parts can somebody have the idea Uh, the very first thing we need the pizza base good and uh, after that uh, we need these mayonnaise maybe cheese and other ingredients which we want to apply on the pizza base and then finally we need to bake it we need vegetables too good good any other so what you prefer are you preferring to make the pizza or you are going to dominos or the pizza ha or you are placing order you are getting it placing order of course so that is a cloud of placing an order <laughs> so yeah. that is that is a cloud if i can say that is a cloud so we are not caring about the what is going to cook who is going to manage these things if i can give you the examples based on this pizza so just calculating this into the our environment what we have to do when it is onto the is model what we have to do when it is onto the pass model which is platform as a service then what we have to do and if it is in the saas model then what we have to do so here you can see same pizza example i have converted into the different cloud mechanism what we have to do left side you can see here we have a on premises so in the on premises you need to take care of the 
where you are going to eat the pizza then what are the ingredients you are going to use everything not a single thing you have to of course apart from that there is lots of things i have not included all the things if you are using as a infrastructure as a service for the same pizza then few thing your vendor will manage that means maybe the amazon maybe the azure or maybe the oracle which cloud you are using they will give you the some things and something you have to do like these area these part will be managed by you so responsibility you are sharing something very nice example i say really <laughs> understandable <laughs> thank you then if you are going as a platform as a service so what happen now your task will be the very less you need where which dining table of course here platform as a service means you are dining at your home pizza you have ordered which is delivered at your home now where you are going to eat it so of course you need a place where you are going so and then if you need a something with the pizza generally people will like coke or soda whatever with the pizza so that's why <laughs> but what if you are going in dining out you don't have to care even if this part so this is called as a software as a service only we are paying the cash and we are enjoying the pizza got it made at home take and back so here 50 50 responsibility delivery model where your responsibility is a 20% and 80% goes to the your supplier here 100% responsibility will be goes to your supplier but yes couple of thing you have to do here as well what you have to do you have to go to the outlet that's a one thing second thing you have to find a place where you can see it so those couple of thing you have to do got it i hope it is clear to all of you yeah very well that's been a very nice example very clear good now now i am going to add this into the it same what happen if i am going to use into hosting model into my infrastructure or software so on premises these application data middleware os virtualization server storage these all things will be you have to manage if you are going with the is then networking storage server and virtualization that means operating systems virtualizations only cpu and other these all will be managed by your vendor where what operating system windows linux or whatever you are choosing because you are taking only compute you are taking only ram you are taking only storage you are not choosing which os you are going to install linux windows solaris aix whatever you want you have to choose from your end middleware like the connectivity that you have to choose application you have to choose database you have to choose so that means only you will get the resource when we will talk about a platform as a service then your os will be also managed by the your service provider so you are choosing only i need a windows or i need a linux or i need a solaris i need a aix that server will be ready with you in a max 30 minute got it the another one is the run time so these all thing will be taken care of only you have to choose as a now my service is ready what database i want to choose because you have chosen the platform as a service so you are responsible operating system with you all the internet network storage virtualization everything will be there now you have to choose the your database and the application based on that you can do it so this is called as a platform as a service and last but not least which is called the business model for all the major cloud provider that is called 
software as a service which is called the business model here same like the pizza example now you can link everything is ready like we are using office 365 or we are using the sap we are using the salesforce we are not bother about any things we need a service based on that service provider is providing us and based on the service use we are paying them is it clear to all of you yeah it's very clear thank you yes very much clear good so another same example i have given about the saas what are the things in the details those things now here coming to the point cloud predictions what will be the future of the cloud so as you all are heard the word cloud so cloud has become the catalyst for host and distribute the new business technology either you are using chatbot maybe you are using ai maybe you are using machine learning blockchain or database as a service or the iot maybe the digital organization lots 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 new world is coming into market how based on the cloud technologies development is happening transformation from the business is happening innovation is happening and that's where we have to think either you are using cloud or not believe me or not but i can say this word in the next two years you will be getting impacted by the cloud a lot of service provider couple of people may be agree who are working on to the top mnc's or maybe indian company also started so the cloud is the next booming for the it industry how will industry trend and technology develop transform cloud computing over the next two years so based on the gartner and the oracle i am saying this word not from the mind by 2020 50 plus percent of all enterprise data will be managed autonomously you all have, all have heard the world called autonomous database oracle has come up with the oracle at nc larry elson said that hey it is autonomous database you don't need to patch it you don't need to take the backup these all things will be managed automatically so what will be the my role is my job is going to finish should i think about that way to another opportunity or the another technology no believe me the market is growing and dba responsibility need to be grow what we are doing traditionally that is now more valid that can be taken by the machine learning that can be taken by the robotics so what we have to do we have to focus to the business what is the business so new innovations how to do the things so technology grow easier to use more reliable more effective as they mature from cloud service and that way you have to think so you can translate the greater efficiency risk migration and agility if you can compare with the different cloud model so cloud provider take the easy option instead and offer independent service expecting subscriber to piece together the solution they need themselves so they are giving you service based on that you are using it that's it our job is moving to the service provider next point if i can give by 2020 80 plus percent of application and infrastructure operation will be resolved autonomously this is the predictions and this predictions is based on to the so many it organization market trend how they moved business based on that so we predict that higher degree of intelligent automation will happen so cloud will take care of those things next I can say the job market by 2020 security will move from job 10 to 
job one. Of course, lots of people are saying, Raji, do you think it will? I say, yes, it will. Believe or not, it will. Because your business is not waiting for you. Security is the moon car, sir. Why security is the moon car, sir? Because we are moving to the globe. We are moving on to internet. That's why security job is getting more. And if the security is getting more, then cyber crime will also be there. So cyber crime is becoming the more and more business. The organization are finding it difficult to effectively detect, prevent, and respond to the modern cyber attack. So that's why I assume, and the industry is assuming by 2020, security job will be the number one. So what you have to do? Should you move to the security profile? How many of you agree with that? You are going to move on security domain instead of database domain. Can somebody confirm? As, as far as security is concerned, I agree. We need uh, security will be there. We need because of the cyber crime. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we have to see. So what is happening in your reliance? Are you not secure? Recently, there was a security threat. Okay. I do agree. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I agree with you. Okay. Thank you. So what happened? when we are talking about a security so security will move from the job 10 to job one so as of now security is the on 10th position into the it market okay what next so the next is that by 2020 cloud provider will add on premises control and miss out the mission critical workload so as of now cloud is only onto the web based browser based from there we are connecting and we are getting the service but in the next two year that will be available like on premises we can click and we can manage the thing from the same way what we are doing into the, our current infrastructure why it happened because the economic and management benefit of the public cloud are well proven however i can think enterprise should relies on compute operation control of their mission critical workload so they don't go entire thing on cloud so based on that cloud provider all of our multi-tenant visualization environment but they shared resource architecture like if i can give you the example oracle already started it oracle is giving cloud at customer that means they will give the same setup to our firewall so they will put the, their server into our data center with the under the our firewall got it so that's already started and of course if you know one service provider is providing the another is also going to adopt it next point so by 2020 this is the fifth point so by 2020 50 percent of production workload is regulated industry will move to the cloud so believe or not maybe if you can see the your current market and what we have observed into the last two years our database is also moving on cloud our operating system is also moving on cloud and that way it will move 50 percent of the resource onto the cloud by 2020 the cloud will be the share for the new application it built on microservice how many of you aware about iot so now your maybe you are heard a word called a smart tv a smart microwave a smart freeze a smart home how they are <laughs> wait they are the using the iot so microservice architecture simplify the entire application development life cycle and that will be the higher quality more release will come 
so that's why based on that we can assume remember five year back or six year back are you aware about the a smart home or a smart fridge or a smart washing machine no that time only the smart phone we were thinking now everything is a smart next ai will cement place in the enterprise so ai is going to be the top priorities the central talent of the replicate and exist with the human skills and pay so what is happening nowadays if you can see insurance company is going to give the you know insurance so they based on the public cloud based on to the social media if they know your driving skills they know how you are driving your car automation automatic car i am driving the automatic car so my honda is aware how i am driving and i am not sure honda is sharing their data with someone else or not got it same way if you are using the some skoda or maybe the some other car they are also i cannot give you the example of bmw or mercedes because i know no one in the this meeting belong from this experience if we were on that experience <laughs> then what we are doing into the cloud <laughs> okay next point if you can talk by 2020 the majority of customer support interaction will be conducted on chatbot why i said this word as currently more than 2 billion messages are sent between the individual and businesses each month through facebook messenger so here we have counted only for facebook if you can add the whatsapp if you can add the other communication channel twitters or maybe linkedin or whatever you are using you can assume how much data will grow how much transaction and that's why if you can remember the call center nowadays if you are logging into hdfc or the icici bank or the chatbot is there to help you hey you need to choose this service hey you need to choose this service and based on that if they are not able to do it then they recommend to someone else so that is called okay that's the majority of the customer next by 2020 iot will evolve from individual companies to an integrated platform as of now 50 billion connected device into the market what number i said 50 billion connected device you are using the smart watch that is connected with internet you are using a smartphone that is connected with your your car maybe your tv maybe your fridge maybe ac whatever you are using they all are interconnected and this one device is connected to the their entire device how companies why before the problem will raise the honda is aware okay there is a some problem in my car and they can alert me before i can notice the problem because they are expert into that last but not least by 2020 30 percent of blockchain proof of concept will get the green light so this is the now coming to the most question what we have to do should we wait to 2020 or should we start something new let's talk about the cloud business potential this is the actual figure and the source is idc so this survey is happening how the company is expanding the cloud so if you can see in the initial stage only in 2008 16% people are using that means out of the it budget only 16% was used on to cloud in 2012 it goes up to 42% as of now so 9% they are using out of the entire it budget 2008 they were using 4% now they are using in 2016 they are using 15% if we will talk by 2020 30% cloud utilization will and by 2020 end 50% so the all the it infrastructure which is running onto your on premises 
that will be and this is the predictions from the dba training this is from the based on to the source of idc and this prediction we are doing so all the our asset will move all the things what we have observed we have more than 10000 participant around the globe those all are working top mnc based on that input they based on survey dba training come to know that okay, the 50 50 will be the ratio in by 2020 okay so current cloud revenue and adoptions how what market so cloud vendor few months back amazon was the number one now amazon is replaced from the number one position and microsoft commercial cloud will become the number one position so the people who are working on microsoft i know a couple of people here in the meeting so they will be happy microsoft is growing and based on that the azure has given them that another one is called amazon wave service that is into second position third position ibm and the fourth the oracle so these are the turnover of these company so these 6.8 billion in oracle of course oracle is the late comer in the market and that's why but if that you can see the percentage wise growth oracle is running fast than the any other other service provider so let me give you the idea about that how company has adopted cloud so here if you can see so almost double in the oracle side based on their market share year, what was the last year in 2017 and 2018 so they have double not any other service provider has increased that way so oracle is going to okay that's about the market that's about the things or predictions what the benefit of the cloud so we have already talked let's talk with a few points so cloud computing for the market and enterprise there is a reduce for the initial investment company don't have to think about the initial investment based on that they will grow they will increase so a scale up they can reduce capital expenditure improve industrial specialization improve resource utilization and for what will be the benefit for the customer or individual reduce local computing power like i can see in the this meeting also lots of people have connected with the mobile phone tab so based on that local computing power reduce local storage power variety of thin client device and then most important how to deploy this cloud what will be the my next step so there's a different method if you remember we have talked so there's a three basic method one is called public another private and third one is called hybrid but i am adding one thing from the dba end which is called community cloud so let's get the idea there are four primary cloud development model public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud and community cloud so community cloud is basically when we are going to like x company take about the example of the cap germany they have created the one private cloud based on that cloud they are giving to their customers as a public so that is called a community cloud public cloud you all are aware this cloud infrastructure made available for the general public private cloud you are aware so private cloud is one of that fully owned by the operation organization like suppose oracle have the public cloud oracle have the private cloud private cloud they are using for their own infrastructure like same way your company may have reliance may have the private cloud maybe capgemini have the private cloud maybe ibm have the private cloud tcs may have i can see you can check your environment you must are using some private cloud but yes quite possible this private cloud is not like the exactly the same way what public cloud they are using like a virtualization or something that way but believe me this private cloud investment will be the heavy that's why it's not so popular 
as like the public cloud as of now so what is the difference so the public cloud is a homogeneous where the private cloud is heterogeneous policy model shared and multi tenant in public here private cloud is dedicated cost model operational expenditure in the public in the private capital expenditure because the initial stage you have to invest everything you have to buy the server vi you have to buy the hardware infrastructures everything you an economic model large economic scale here into end control hybrid so hybrid is a just mix up of the public and private so like if i can give the our organization we are using in the hybrid mode we have the some public cloud we have the some private cloud and something on to our own premises something on to the public something on private and we are integrating that way so hybrid cloud is generic term for any combination of the different type of cloud model and that's we were talking community cloud here the cloud infrastructure is shared by the several organization like i can give example take about the private cloud salesforce if you can see and if you remember in the previous slide i have shared you the so salesforce is not going to for the something called a like a cpu or ram or something they are only into saas model so they have their private cloud based on that private cloud they are offering to the public so that is called community cloud maybe like sap hana name you have seen so sap have the cloud model that is not like a aws or azure or alibaba or oracle it is a private cloud based on that private cloud they are giving to the public as a community cloud so that's why it's called community cloud good now coming to the your dva role what will be the impact on dva role so database technology is moving we have to move with the database to protect our job through the data finding covering and change for the dba role worldwide now dba is not only to take the backup to create a database to restore the database to patch it this is not our task of course these tasks will be done by them then dva need to consider when taking on the challenge of developing a career to the ever ever what is the current salary of the dbas so based on idc survey and the gartner we come to the these solutions that in india average senior dba is getting this much amount in singapore this much uk dubai and usa of course there is a couple of other country so just a overview of the few organizations few company and this report we have taken with the help of the gartner so according to the gartner that is a don't compare your salary what you are getting but believe me if you have the such type of knowledge such type of technology so this is the thing dv is getting of course i can see the people in india they are getting more than this in the this meeting also i can see the people and i know they are getting more than this so it's a average just we have taken that means maybe couple of people are getting more couple of people less but on an average we have calculated okay so next point is how will dba be affected so as you know your salary is good based on the developer based on the other service so current dba salary across the globe can be indicator for a good career prospect but what so it is for the us bureau of labor statistics and data source says by 2016 dba job will increase 11% believe me cloud is not going to finish lots of people are saying hey everything will be done by the oracle itself because they can be the autonomous database or microsoft come with the some things will our job will impact of course i have a good article on to the our blog so on my blog i have mentioned that dba job is not going to finish company need a data and 
only DB have to change the priorities. And based on this US Bureau of Labor, the DBA job will increase 11% by 2016. If you remember in that when 9i to 10g, the loss of people are saying great technology, click, click thing will happen. We will lose the job. It is not like that. Same way it happened to the what we need to change. Of course, we need to change the way of our working. So today, if I can say today's DBA are compelled to raise above the quantity nature of their role to more quality. You have to become a autonomous. If you are not going to become the autonomous, believe me, it will going to impact you. So plan for the backup on cloud. So backup for cloud, that will be the DBA first strategy. Because if I can consider the my current cost and the cloud cost for the backup, it is drastically four times less than what we are paying to the current cost. So that's why plan backup for cloud or backup on cloud. Next point I can see, DBA have to make friends with developer. Forget about the days when you are saying to developer, hey, this is not my job. I'm the DBA, you are the developer, you have to do that. Cloud has given the privilege, so you both are on the same boat. If you can see this image, this I captures from the hand to hand. So what is saying? We have to be become like a friend. If developer is suffering for some things, you have to come and you have to help them. And most important, never stop learning. The day you stop learning, your growth will stop. Your exploration will stop. To getting the informations will stop. That's why you always say, never stop learning. So the people are here, which are the, my previous participant, previous students, they know, okay, I always say to the one statement, at least you have to give one hour. If you want to survive in IT industry, give at least one hour. And what is the greatest challenge to be expected within a DVA role? Of course, lots of challenge, but more challenge into to get the difficulties to perform as a DVA role, maintain those relax and maintain the quorum of the industry need. So you have to grow. Both development and DVA team need to start working more closer. And this brings us the upcoming point which is the importance of learning new skill and taking continuous. So DVA training within a modern DVS everyday work. So we are here to give you the best service, best training mechanism. And what are the new challenges is happening in the industry? We are getting it. So we are the first who evaluate the things and we can give the idea. How will training impact the role of a DBA? Of course. So tomorrow's database is here. You are not only to become a DBA. You have to manage the database server. That means the operating system. You have to manage the security. If you remember a few minutes back, I was saying security will be the number one job. So that thing you have to. Backup and recovery traditional. That you can do. Performance management that you can do. High ability. Statement tuning, recovery plan, these all can be done by the DBA. So next generation DBA will have to more significant role than ever. However, in order to conquer the challenge yet to come, the training component within the professional development can no longer be overlooked. So don't waste your time, learn the new technology and survive into industry. Learning new skill is only a survival trade for the DBA. This is said by the Gartner that almost 22 and a half hour is taken by the unskilled professional to complete the same task, which is done by the trained employee in a five hour. A modern DBA will need to focus on more on innovation instead of 
doing the traditional job so that way you have to think and another part is that you can go for this so based on that you can think you can use and most important what is expected from the dba now company is expecting the fast service with the more reliable so modern db always think so as per the comptia report 92% of employee agree that the it certification will help you so learn the thing get the international certification and survive what is the greatest challenge so i found automation is the killing the job that's why learn the automation and how to learn it of course based on the your past experience what you did script it put it and develop it so workload for the dba has increased believe or not if you, i can say i can guide you the 39% workload of dba are increased like if you can see here in this diagram it is clearly said 50 or more databases so one dba had will be 50 i remember when i was in cap germany the 70 database we are getting one resource got it 95% of automation is lacking so all dba create a great database manually this is the happening as of now 78% of dba will experience unplanned dying time which is not a good thing got it so based on that you can plan it and 72% of it budget is spent on maintenance so this is going to be reduced when you are going to the on cloud okay so what are the today data management challenge so these are the some challenges you can see raising it cost due to the data growth lack of performance then those things that you have to keep into mind and plan it accordingly so your business will grow accordingly the world's most valuable resource is data i am not saying this is said by the world's most valuable resource is data by the top it in so 430 billion advantage to data driven organizations and data is a foundation of digital business so lots of companies talking about a digital business digital so if they have the data they can predict the things why people are moving database on cloud so reduce the cost simplify development and migration always on reliability on demand scaling when you need you can increase the resource when you don't need decrease it performance and compatibility like if you are using oracle 9 or 10 it's difficult to upgrade onto the atency so so many steps you have to follow but this cloud is giving us the features ki only compatible version will be available onto the your service so business have to think if they are planning to move on cloud they have to think okay they have to upgrade the their current setup so what will the customer benefit simple to use faster time value reduce cost and risk better value performance then so oracle will give you the better value compared to the aws and redshift based on why because oracle is called ocpu instead of the this thing and that thing we have talked so these are the something which we have talked then naming conversion if i can see so these are the same wine with a different label so amazon called cpu as a ec2 microsoft called as a virtual machine and oracle called as a compute a storage they all are coming called as a storage for network they call vpc they call microsoft call virtual network 
and Oracle called it its network. And so many others, like a storage point of view, if you can talk, Amazon said storage block, Microsoft also talk B log, and Oracle called it block. So what are the, those things that we are talking during the our training? EBS, so Elastic Block Service, Amazon talk, Microsoft said this as a managing disk and Oracle says as a block volume. Same way, Amazon talk as an object, Azure talk as a table and Oracle as object. Then for another storage S3, he, Azure talk B logs and Oracle said it's an object. For the archiving and backup, Amazon called it a lower cost storage, which is called a glacier. Microsoft Azure called as a cool storage and Oracle called as a archiver. But believe me, these are the naming conversion we have used. For the network, Amazon called direct connect for the fast, same express route, Microsoft Azure called and Oracle called it a fast connect. For the VPC, virtual private cloud network and VNet, Azure will talk and Oracle will say as a BCN, which is called Virtual Cloud Network. Same for the Amazon VPN, for Azure VPN Gateway, and for the Oracle IPsec. Route in the Amazon for Azure, it's called DNS, and for Oracle also it's called DNS. Same way for the another CloudFront, Azure CDN and Oracle call it A service. So why I have given the naming conversion? Because the naming conversion will give you, okay, this is the same way behave like a same, only the different cloud provider will give. So if you are going to attend a training with the DBA training, then you know the each and every, we are not going to talk only Oracle, we are not going to talk only AWS, we will talk the common field, all what it is called in AWS, what it is called in Azure, what is it called into? Because our trainer are the most, they are from the different domain, different cloud, and that's why. So Amazon Web Service, so it is available in 55 LVT zone, the graph you can see. So Amazon is clearly has most extensive coverage because this is the first company who have started the cloud world. Then Azure is the second position, so Azure in India, they have the West India, then Central India as well as in South India. And the good part is that Oracle is the late comer and they have just launched Mumbai as a data center last week only. So last Tuesday was the launch of that Mumbai data center. Good. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but even SAP is coming up with the cloud. Yeah, as, as of now, they have the, like the community cloud. Yeah. The fourth, yeah, one, right. fourth one example, which I have given. As of now, they are not yeah. into public cloud. Yeah, yeah. They are coming with yeah. India, they are going to launch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. India is a next IT hub. Okay. Then Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, how it will look like. So whatever you've seen, they have the regions. Based on that, they will create so that we will talk about during the demo. So cloud at customer, this I was talking by 2020. So already Oracle has started. They are providing the cloud at our players. So customer, if you voice, you can get under your firewall. What will be the benefit that we talk? Then database service, if you remember, we have already talked. And these are the options that we will talk into during the demo. So what is the thing? Let's call how to connect with the Oracle database. So let me share you the screen with the live session. So first we will call. So if you can see this screen I have taken the study, this cloud service screen is changing. Why changing? Completely new adding based on that, that it changed. So what service you want based on that you can choose the your service then once you get a service then 
click on to instance once you will click on to instance so let me click on the instance then you will get this screen and here once we are going to create instance then you will get here you have to give your database name what you are putting the descriptions then your email id where you are billing and everything will happen and then choose the database service so this is all thing we can do in the practically we can show you why we are here and what is the dba training job here so this is the training which we are offering to all of you database cloud administration this training is only for the dbas so this course is ideal for existing dba you can see on our website as well so these are the thing we are going to cover into this our view of cloud service creating database service administrating database backing recovery creating data so almost all the things what is on to cloud for detail you can visit to the website dbatrainings.com over there you can get what is the course fee we have so for this course 30000 for people who are connected from india from globe the 400 usd okay you all have invested some times to understand so this is the offer for the today if you are registering today you will get the 25% discount offer valid on today only so if tomorrow somebody is coming and they say hey rajiv i need this training i am sorry you will not get the this offer this offer is valid only for today so what you have to do you have to ping whatsapp on the my personal number which you have and based on that i can ask the team to enroll you for the training so next this is for the oci the people who are not going to become the dba instead of day one to a cloud administrator so this course is for 5 days and here we will talk virtual cloud network service database service automation tool so if you are not going with the cloud then database service here you will not get all the thing what you have seen in the previous but yes 20% thing from the database service will be there so if you want to become the oci architect then this is a course for you and for this course the fee is 40k for india and 500 usd for around the globe and this offer is again valid for today so let's coming to the next point with the something called not going for the details course analysis instead of moving why to learn from dba training so all the dba trainer who are working with the dba trainings are the working professionals with the average 15 years experience so around the globe presence so we have a trainer which is located in usa we have a trainer which is located in uk india so around the globe we have so global presence and more than 10000 people we have trained around the globe so if you can go on our website dbatrainings.com there is so many testimonial and so many video you can see if you like competition and better learning you must join the dba training what are the latest enhancement is happening in industry that you will learn improve your earning potential available for on site support so this is the good part if you are getting the job if you are working already and you are learning from us if any challenge you are facing into your production environment we are able to help you free of cost this nobody can give you and the most important maximize your training investment with quality training so what we are going to train you so if you have seen we are comparing each component it is not like we are going to give you a training you are going for oracle then we are going only for the oracle we will compare what it is in microsoft what it is into the aws what it is in alibaba that way 
learn database from database expert lots of people have gone in the training institute they have learned among you also so what you have learned over there that you can compare with the training which we are going to to that that will be completely different and the most important better chance for getting shortlisted for interview because the way we trained you you know the things you are able to answer your cv will be modified based on the our expert and that cv will give you the eye catching to the people so they can call you for the interview okay another offer for all of you and this offer is only valid for 30 minutes so from right now we are starting this offer so it will be valid for the next 30 minute only if you are confirming your registration by next 30 minute what extra you will get apart from that 25% free unlimited retake a training which you are going to pay for one time like the 30000 you have seen if you will go for 25000 discount so you are paying almost 20000 with the tax 22 or something if you are going with this so this is a level for how many time you want the same training 10 time 20 time you can go for the same price no next time you have to pay free unlimited retake for the next 365 days free recording session available for lifetime so whatever you have learned the recording will be available you will get your user id and password and this recording is valid for the lifetime so not recording for your session because the cloud is changing new adoption is happening new adding is happening these all will be there so free recording session have level for lifetime whatever the new training will happen if the new topic will be added that you can get free of cost with the free recording free on job support for the next one year what type of mechanism we have so we have the our communication channel which we are using to communicate we have a whatsapp group for the dvs training over there are lots of trained people whom we have trained or the people from the outside of industry they are learn the only one component from us they are into group so from whatsapp you can get the help and another we have a, our own ticketing tool based on that if you are having the any issue you can register and you can get the solution no other people can offer you these things most important step by step activity guide for your reference so start your registration if you are interested of course i am not saying you cannot learn without this tv training you can do it will take time if you are learning we are organizing free session every month so based on that this time we have talking about the basic components cloud then storage network we have seen what are the things next topic we are going to add some different topic different so that way if you have one year with you then this dba training have the 12 module so this 12 module we are going to cover in a one year so in a next one year free of cost you can also learn but if you want from the day one so then you can go for this not only this the bonus for you what is the bonus you will get the aws azure essential training which is free and the actual cost for this training is 200 usd so you can choose either aws or azure you have the options so those essential training will be free so if any one of you interested feel free to ping the whatsapp over there you can get a payment link and then you can go for your registration will be confirmed that's about training now it's coming to the question and answer session so all of you you can ask the questions men while i can show the demo to you
okay so if anyone have the question feel free to ask me meanwhile i am showing you how to create database onto cloud good so are you able to hear me yes yes good thank you so meanwhile i am creating the oracle cloud database to all of you so when you will log into the cloud your screen will look like this uh, it is showing me your name only on the screen as of now okay let let, let me share started any, yeah if you have started in new screen i am not able to see that just give me a minute okay Please let me know once you are able to see the screen. Yes, now we can see the screen. Yeah, now it is uh, visible. So here I am creating the Oracle Cloud service. So once you will click on the Oracle Cloud service, this will open the another page. So it is opening. Just give a minute. So this screen will come there and here once you will click on instance this instance will give you the create instance so if you will click on to create instance so this will again open the new page are you able to see uh, show me that new page and maybe this is the very first page only what are you not able to see Okay. Can you tell? I'm getting a lot of noise. Are you able to see? I'm able to see this great instance page. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. Here you can give your instance name. Guys, please mute yourself. So I am giving the name called my DV. Description, anything I can give. Please mute. Mute, sir. Can you ask all your, all your participants to mute? Yes, sir. Because another, you can see that lots of people are joining from the classroom session. So here Oracle Database Cloud Service we are using not the virtual image which we are seeing. I mute the queue. Okay, meter frequency you can choose how you are going to pay. Of course, hourly means when we need it, we can use it. If we don't need, we need to shut down. Once you shut down, no cost will be you charged to you. Software release which version you want. So here you can see 11G is also supported 
and the latest one 18c as i promise i can show you the 18c which edition you want so different edition has a different meaning a standard edition have different so when we will conduct a database service then we can describe all the thing i am choosing a standard edition and what type of it is single instance rack data guard if you are aware how difficult to create and then based on that click on next once you will click on next it will ask you the administrator password so i am giving the password called any password you can use based on the your requirement so it is saying the password is not matching as per the oracle policy okay this time yes it is working the storage you can choose so my database size will be only 25 gb where the other storage you can see the backup and other things it is taking lots got it uh, compute i have a question, i have a question here yeah, this please. 25 is uh, randomly written or there are, there is some options given yes. in the drop down you, you, no no it is not a drop down it's a text box so you can give as per okay. the your choice okay okay thank you okay welcome so total size for the database you are only able to use 25 gb but total size will be taken 160 gb because there is a log archive those are the things okay total data so then cpu these are the different cpu method based on that cost will be changed got it so i am checking for the only one o cpu and here you have to use the public cloud and private cloud so you can create the cloud either you can use the public cloud which you have already so in the dba training if you can see for the training we are using the cloud key this is the public key so this public key based on that or we can create a new key so we can describe during the training what is the key where how to create a key and other things then if you can go for enter i don't need any backup so no backup required and this is the summary when you will go for next please show the backup options there please in, in the, the previous slide yeah in the backup yes. options in the backup options the storage will be used okay okay where local you want store. local okay, machine or the cloud only or the both place sure okay. thank you welcome click on the next once you will click on this next it will give you the confirmations and then notification will goes to the dba trainings once the database is ready got it and once you will click on the create button it will create a database it will take 20 to 30 minute and it will create database so that's from the my end if you have any questions you can feel free to ask me and i can see the two people has pinged me for their training so thank you thanks ujwala thanks mohit so if anyone is interested feel free to ping me and based on that we can give you the confirmations and it's a golden opportunity for you to learn database to understand the database is there any question if as of now no question from my side it has been very nice training given by you very well presented and uh, slides have been made very properly very nice very informative in short it has been very informative thank, thank you so much thank you any other people have any comments nice training it was really well presented i liked it thank seriously it was really very well presented even i liked it 
thank you what about others yeah it was a nice training with great examples i really appreciate that thank you thank you very well presented good so ujwala you will get the connections for the training and the recording session you can start from the watching today it will be the live and the yes so that's why i am including the session still you have time if you have question feel free to ask me if not right now if you have any doubt any questions feel free to ping me whenever you have and thanks for your time and patience to listening us hope we will meet soon for the training or maybe into next sessions or maybe the free sessions whatever you like if you have any comments like dislike or any suggestion feel free to update us we are available on to our email info@dvtrainings.com you can visit our site and over there you can find all the calendars for the what is happening what is the new service we are using these all will be available and based on that you can decide whenever you plan of course the people who have confirmed that's good and here if you can go in the course so you can find these are the courses we will provide so in if in oracle you can go and this is the training which we are going to conduct a cloud training so the ujwala you will get and the what is the another person name okay so both of you will get a live sessions by 8 am ist and this training will be on saturday sunday it will go is 10 week so and meanwhile you can get the recording sessions for the lifetime access which you can use for the your further training so if any of other training you are looking so you can choose a training based on the your need so these are the different hello, hello. Yes. Sir, good evening, sir. Good evening. So this is Kini here. Actually, this is Oracle provide this cloud service free trial version or anything else. Not getting Kini. Can we access that Oracle cloud service trial yes. version? Yes, we can. We can give you the access and we can guide you. So every participant will get it. Okay. Thank you all for the right now. and we will catch you in the another session okay sir thank you thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much thank you thank you thank you good night yaar yaar le karu abhi phone karenge mujhe to dekh